Hope I didn't put anything stupid in there. But if I did, <laughs> it's all good for you. The bases are loaded. Two men are out. It's the tying run at the plate. Paul Lair is there. He's flying the center. Struck out and top is short. Nolan Ryan is near the pitch. Can I kick it off? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Over the Years Sports. It's another day, another dollar box. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that thumbs up. It is day two, our second day. So let me, how do I phrase this? It is our second card show in our second state in our second day. So two days, two card shows, two states. That probably sounds a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, we are in Annandale, Virginia, and this is actually a really cool show because it's like half comic book, half uh, sports card. Uh, I've been here maybe once or twice before, and uh, it's not as small as that really small show we went to a few days ago or a few weeks ago, but uh, not as big as the uh, show in Glen Burnie. But Super excited, doesn't matter. As long as there's boxes to dig through, we will be there. So uh, we're gonna jump on in and see what we can find. See you guys on the inside, peace. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now inside the Annandale Sports Card Show. This is a pretty dope show. It's actually half sports card and half comic book. Uh, so we're definitely Looking for some bargains today. You guys know how we do. We're always out hunting the bargain boxes. Uh, I kind of am walking around to see if I recognize any dealers first before stopping. Uh, I did kind of peek into this uh, baseball box right here, but didn't really come across anything that kind of stood out to me. Uh, so I ended up putting those back, kind of penning in through some of the penny sleeve stuff, and then making my way through the rest of the show. And then we get to uh, this stop right here. I have bought some cards from this gentleman before. Great guy, always takes care of me. Uh, so you will see that we kind of digging through the box. He's got some Bowman stuff mixed in. There's a bunch of autographs to start things out. Once again, we are trying our best to kind of keep within a certain price per card as we shop through these bargain boxes. So none of those autographs really stood out to me to begin the show. Uh, but a guy that I have been buying for a long time and am continuing to buy while I still can, Mr. O'Neill Cruz on the Topps Chrome Refractor Rookie Card. I also picked up that Spencer Jones because it was, uh, I believe, just a dollar. Anything Spencer Jones right now is absolutely worth picking up. Uh, definitely a lot of value in Spencer Jones. People are always asking for him during our shows. But I, I, you know, I haven't heard anything uh, since. You know, whether he's still alive, I don't know. You know, you know how that goes. Oh yeah. You think somebody? Oh yeah, he can't miss. All right, I got these two to go. That's all I got to say. Oh man, no, I don't even want to go to Strasbourg. <laughs> Thank you, guy. $2. There you go, sir. Sorry, I don't have any smaller bills That's yet. okay. I always, always try to bring some change. You can use it elsewhere, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. I appreciate appreciate you. You have a great show. Okay, thank you. Now we are digging through a 50 cent box. I love it when a 50 cent box or quarter box, their cards are at least penny sleeved. It's always a, uh, a good feeling because I feel like I don't have to necessarily look for crazy issues with the card. 
Uh, but we did find some absolute gems in this 50 cent box, including this Jordan Walker, Bowman's best uh, astral projections rookie card. So we put that to the side. We got a bunch of cards out of this 50 cent box for sure. Uh, looking back on it, I probably would have grabbed some more out of this box for sure. Uh, but definitely happy and satisfied with a lot of the stuff we got. Picked up a Davis and De La Santos right there. Um, then we picked up this. Oh, that snuck up on you. That is a Termar Johnson image variation short print mojo card in the 50 cent box. An absolute banger. Super, super excited about finding that card. Uh, that's a big reason why we dig through these value boxes is to find cards like that. Uh, so definitely was really excited about finding that card in the 50 cent box. Now we moved into the price as marked. A lot of one three fives in this box. But don't worry. We definitely found some bangers in here as well. Uh, it's kind of crazy to think that some of these cards slipped through the crack. How about a Wyatt Langford shellac? I mean, his stuff is absolutely on fire right now. Anything Wyatt Langford I am picking up. Uh, this is a really nice one, too. How about a case hit? Bowman Ascension, Tristan Cassis, rookie card, mojo, case hit. Followed by this, Ethan Salas, number to 250. It was only at a $3 sticker on it. I mean, now we're up to a short print image variation, a case hit, rookie card, mojo, and an Ethan Salas out of 250, amongst a whole bunch of other cards that we picked up as well. So, this was probably the best table of the show for me. Uh, I also picked up some other cards. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video. You guys will be able to see every single card that we picked up during the show. We run through them all so you guys can see everything at the end of this video. Those are all 50 cents, and then... Twelve, what you had? Six. Twenty-two. Twenty, okay? Twenty. Yeah, okay. Appreciate 20. you guys. 20. Thank you, gentlemen. Let me see my Langford. I'm going to see if this is a hard guy. Up next, these two guys were absolutely awesome. We exchanged a bunch of cool stories. Um, they really knew a lot about their baseball, too, which is always fun. Uh, so I did find a couple of really cool cards uh, in this box. The first one was this Sal Frelick, first Bowman Chrome Refractor. Uh, he's a guy I'm always kind of picking up, these Brewer guys, Frelick, um, Garrett Mitchell, Bryce Terang, and then this guy, Lazaro Montez, absolute monster prospect for the Seattle Mariners. That's a first Bowman mojo. Another guy who's really, really popular. A lot of people are asking for him, so definitely always picking up Lazaro Montez if I can find them at good deals. Um, there's this one right here. Love me some Emmanuel Rodriguez, one of the top prospects for the Minnesota Twins. That was numbered to 150. I'm regretting. I wish I would have grabbed those Trey Lipscombs. I didn't think about that. And obviously now he's been called up to the big leagues, hit a home run already. So he's a guy I will be buying now if I can find him in boxes like these moving forward. Uh, that's always what's cool about looking back on some of these videos. You come across these cards that you wish you would have picked up. Uh, but it, it's, it just kind of makes things a little funny. That's Joe Redfeld. First uh, Bowman Purple uh, Crater. Always pick up those colored first Bowmans if they're at the right price. Uh, speaking of Bowman, don't forget we do have a Bowman blowout show coming up this 
Thursday, which will be tomorrow if you're watching this video the day it comes out. Um, then we're going to Chantilly for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, so if you're at the Chantilly show and you see us, make sure you stop and say hello. Uh, we did drop a couple of other Bowman cards from this stack as well. Marcus Lee Sang, I believe, numbered. Um, and then we also picked up a TJ White, first Bowman Refractor. He's a guy from the Nationals that I'm keeping my eye on right now. Uh, I think that he has the potential to maybe get called up this year. Performed really well at spring training. The the Harris SP, which was valued around like 240, 220 to 240, and one of the cards was a James Wood Sapphire PSA 10 that had the 125 sticker. So. I give that to the dude, I give the Stott to 75, which I, I like, we valued at 80 to 100. And then I had to throw in like another Stott that I had like a $30 sticker on. I reckon I know that name. Nice. Right, okay, so I pick up the, the Harris. Thank you, brother. You found that, uh, uh, uh South Relic. I think I got it sitting out here somewhere for a 10, but I was like, cool. found, it, found it, did the bargain, did the bargain hunt. I, I, that's what I do. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from the card show, the Annandale Sports Card Show. Uh, it was, it was tough out there today. It was tough out there today. Not a lot of bargain boxes, not a lot of stuff that I was gravitating to outside of the bargain boxes price-wise. Um, but we did find some really cool stuff, including a short print image variation in the bargain box. Always stoked when that happens. We ended up spending a grand total of $40 and we picked up 24 cards, which equals to $1.66 per card. Let's go ahead and dive in and show you the cards we picked up at the card show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a look at what we picked up. If you guys don't know, I am a big fan of Ezekiel Tovar. Had a great rookie season last year. Started off a little slow, but came on strong in the back half of the year. Uh, playing very well in spring training as well. So I picked up this Bowman Chrome Aqua Mojo rookie card numbered to 225. This was a uh, steal. Uh, I think this got misplaced in the bargain box because well, it had a $3 sticker on it. Uh, but I think uh, a lot of times people slip up on these draft picks and prospects because uh, the regular inserts are not refractors and the numbered ones are. This is numbered 62 out of 250, so a fantastic pickup on the Ethan Salas, one of the top young prospects in all of baseball. Numbered two two fifty. Up next, anytime I could pick up a first Bowman Chrome color numbered card, I do. Uh, this was Joe Redf Redfield numbered one sixty nine out of one ninety nine, so it was a good deal on this. Uh, he might be a low key sleeper. I'm gonna be keeping my eye on him uh, during this year. See how he does uh, in the minors. Up next. Marcus Lee Sang, another first uh, Bowman numbered card. This is a really clean looking card. Marcus Lee Sang numbered to $4.99 on the first Bowman Chrome Refractor. Uh, as you guys know, I recently sold all of my Minnesota Twins cards to somebody. So big shout out Blue Collar Collects. I have been trying to replenish my inventory. Uh, you guys know I'm very high on Emmanuel Rodriguez. He's been showing some of his speed uh, during the spring breakout game, stole a couple of bases. Uh, this is a true blue numbered to 150, 73 out of 150. This is a cool one right here. How about a Tristan Cassis, who's been catching a lot of steam in the hobby as of late. This is the Bowman Ascensions uh, case hit, which I think is a really clean looking design. I love the design on this this year. Um, and it was, this is a rookie card. So case hit, Bowman Ascensions, rookie card, mojo. Uh, fantastic pickup on that. Uh, once again, I'm trying to replenish on my Lazaro Montez. This is a first Bowman Mojo Lazaro Montez. This is a nice one too. I uh, got a good deal on that, so I had to grab that. And this is probably the best card we picked up all day. This is a Termar Johnson. Uh, this is a image variation Mojo. Very, very cool card. Uh, it's kind of be going to be interesting to see where this falls at value wise. 
I, I, not a lot of comps. I didn't do a, like a deep dive or anything like that, but I will try and put some stuff up on the screen when I edit this video. Uh, but you guys know I'm very high on Termar, and this was in the 50 cent box. Very stoked about that. And then we picked up some other mojos out of the 50 cent box, just guys that we really like. Uh, Brooks Lee, one of the top prospects for the Twins. Jet Williams, top prospect, one of the top prospects for the Mets. Another Termar Johnson mojo. Uh, Davis and De Los Santos mojo. Uh, then a couple of first mojos. Andy Acevedo and a Carter Young first mojo. And then we picked up some first refractors. Sal Frelick, high on Sal Frelick, so I picked him up. TJ White has been playing very well uh, this spring, so I saw an opportunity to grab this. I actually bought some TJ White stuff recently, but this is a first Bowman refractor, TJ White. Uh, some rookie cards, O'Neal Cruz. I love O'Neal Cruz, always buying O'Neal Cruz. This is a Topps Chrome refractor, O'Neal Cruz rookie card. Uh, Jordan Walker on the Bowman Ascent, oh, Bowman Ascensions, the Bowman's Best uh, Astral Projections rookie card. So I thought that was a cool one. Uh, Elwara Julien on the Refractor Bowman's Best rookie card. Matt McLean on the Refractor Bowman's Best rookie card. Uh, Spencer Jones, just picking him up anytime I can find cheap deals. Uh, he hit another absolute bomb the other day. Somebody had recently commented on... One of the videos, if I was buying Spencer Jones or how come I wasn't buying Spencer Jones, uh, it's hard to find Spencer Jones at value prices right now. His prices have skyrocketed ever since he hit that first home run in spring training. But uh, this was only a dollar at the time, so I picked that up. Little prospect process insert. Uh, Wyatt Langford, buying anything Wyatt Langford right now. Uh, this was a Bowman's Best shellac. I kind of like these little inserts, so... Picked up the White Langford shellac, and then a couple of Jackson Churio insert cards. I think once he gets the call up, these will probably become instead of fifty cent cards like five dollar cards. So I picked those up as well. So that is everything that we picked up at the Annandale Card Show. It has been another day, another dollar box, and ah, that was a great, great find, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we do this for. This is these are the cards that we do it for. Find. Awesome value cards like that uh, makes it all worth it. So big shout out to uh, my guy Shway. I ran into Shway at the Annandale show. If you guys are into wrestling cards, make sure you guys uh, check out him on Twitter and on uh, whatnot. And also he has his own marketplace on District. I'll put a link for that in the description below. So big shout out to my guy Shway. Appreciate you uh, stopping by and saying what's up to me. Uh, but listen, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to dig through those value boxes. We appreciate all the love and all support. Make sure you guys are following us on Twitter, on Instagram, and on whatnot as well. We have some card shows coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing some live sales. So we appreciate all the love and all the support. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Uh, we will see you guys on the next episode. As always, stay classy. Peace.